Yeah. Because it... What the hell is that? Enjoy this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a video, and I thought this would be a good idea, just because there's a lot of people that want to do eyeshadow looks, but they don't know what to do, and they want something very minimal. So I'm going to do an eyeshadow look with only three eyeshadows, like the most basic easy eyeshadow look that you can do that's very easy that you could even use bronzer for so I just decided that this would, this would be a pretty good video to film so hopefully you guys enjoy this make sure you guys do subscribe before you leave and if you guys want to see how to get a easy but pretty glam look then just keep on watching normally I start off with my eyes I always do my eyes first and then I'll clean up any like fallout or whatever and then I'll go in with my complexion. Since the eyes are going to be such an easy and very simple look, I'm going to do my complexion first. So I'm going to start off by mixing these two foundations. This is the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist Foundation. This is in the shade Golden Tan and this is the Ordinary Serum Lightweight Foundation in the shade 2.0. This is way too light for me and this is a little bit too dark for me. So I do one pump of this and one full pump of that. And before I go ahead and apply that on my face, I'm going to put on this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. It's the Pores No More primer and I have used this once now and I mean it looked okay I don't with primers unless it's a hydrating primer or a pore minimizing primer I don't really notice a big difference except for this is a little bit of both it's a hydrating and a illuminating or a hydrating and a pore smoothing primer so we're just gonna put this on the skin my nose is extremely swollen as you guys can see with the line right here I have really bad allergies like really bad so if I sneeze in this video this way so now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this foundation up with my finger um, and then I'm gonna use my finger to apply the product to my skin now we're going to bounce this foundation in this is an eco tools beauty sponge and I'm just going to press this foundation into my skin I really like the finish that the mixture of these two foundations gives me because it gives me a nice natural finish but the coverage is bomb and I'm just gonna pick up the little bit that's left over um, just bounce that around my face, really focusing it like in the center because my nose has been really red and I had that dark line on my nose. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. I know this brand is getting so much like bashing right now and I honestly, I don't like to be one of these people that just bashes but for everyone that is I completely understand why they are then I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit on my eyelids just to prime them for my eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with some translucent powder and the one that I'm using is Laura Mercier's I hope this lighting looks okay. I'm like really struggling on lighting right now. Wow, the coverage on this like mixture is so pretty. To set my face really quickly, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Golden Tan. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush for this. I've been using this to test it out to see how I like it and so far I like it. It doesn't take the place of my other powder because you guys know that Sephora collection powder is my favorite but I do like it for bronzer I'm actually gonna go in first with NARS Laguna I have this tiny little baby NARS Laguna so I'm gonna pick that up with this paddle brush that I always use from elf and I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze my skin up
So now we're nice and bronzy. And I'm gonna pick up this Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit right here. And I'm going to dip into this shade. This is my favorite shade in the palette. It's called Unstoppable. It's like a really pretty mauve pink shade. I'm gonna push it in just a little, just so I don't look too crazy. Before I put on my highlight, I'm gonna spray my face with this Pearlescence Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist. I use this all the time before I put on my skincare. And it's just a face mist and it's hydrating, so I just figured I'll use it. Highlighter. I'm gonna go in with an old school product. It's the Benefit WhatsApp Highlighter. I haven't used this in such a long time, but I've really been into like cream and liquid highlighters just because I've been liking how they look more on the skin lately. So I'm just picking some up with my sponge and I'm just going to push it into my skin. So I'm going to go in with this little Z palette that I created with pretty much my favorite like go-to shades and just colors that I like to take with me all the time when I'm doing makeup on other people because most people want like natural looking glam. So I'm first going to set my eyes with this shade right here which is the color Locked and Loaded by ColourPop. I'm using this ColourPop like I don't know what this is. This might be for highlight but I'm just going to set my eyes. You can also use a translucent powder for this. I just didn't feel like opening up my Laura Mercier powder. So we're going to use three eyeshadows. I'm going to use Wake Up Call, which is like a nice transition shade. Conundrum, which is a nice like neutral brown. Cloud Nine, which is a nice dark brown. So we're only going to use these three colors. So first, I'm going to start off with picking up Wake Up Call, which is one of my favorite transition shades. And I'm going to pick that up with a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M513. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. I'm just going to throw that into my crease. I'm going to focus it in the middle of my brow and my eyelid. So um, if you're like me and have hooded lids, it's kind of hard to find. But the easiest thing to do is do your eyeshadow with your eyes open. Because you're able to see where the eyeshadow is going to be when you open your eyes. And most of the time you can see all the colors when your eyes are closed like this. But when you open your eyes, everything shifts. We're just going to slowly build that color up. It's such a good transition shade for so many looks. And I'm making sure to kind of like not wing it out, but I don't want it to come to like an abrupt end. So I'm just making sure I blend it out. So now we're going to pick up the shade Conundrum with the with the Morphe M514 brush. This brown is a little bit darker than the brown that we put down, so I'm going to keep it pretty low in the crease, but still kind of blending it into that first color, the Wake Up Call color. And also making sure to kind of bring it outwards just so it doesn't come to an abrupt end. That, and I'm just going to take that brush that I used first and just blend my edges out. I'm not picking up any more eyeshadow. Now taking the darkest shade, which is Cloud 9, I'm going to pick that up with this tiny little brush called the Morphe M507. And with this shade, I'm just going to pat it on the outer corners because I kind of want it to stay right there. And then I'm just slowly bringing it in, but I'm not like, moving and buffing my brush around. I'm just pressing the color down. And then picking up that fluffy brush just to blend those edges out. Now I'm just gonna take the eyeshadow that I used to set my eyes, which is the shade Locked and Loaded. I'm just going to re-brighten that area right there. And you don't even have to do that. Like you can leave the eye like this and it's still a complete look because you have this shade already down, like the first powder that you put down. I'm also going to use that color right underneath my brow just to brighten that. I don't really like shimmers underneath my brow. I'm really picky underneath my brow bone. 
So I like to keep my brow bone pretty matte. I mean, I like all matte eye looks in general. I just think that they're classy and timeless. And I personally love the way a wing looks with an all matte eye look. I just feel like it just looks so good. So we're gonna go ahead and wing out our eyeliner. Really quickly, before I put on my lashes, I'm going to coat my lashes with mascara, and then I'm going to go in with the Coco Lashes Queen Bees. My lashes are on. I love the way my complexion looks. Wow. We're going to go ahead and go in with lip, and I want to use a combo of these two. I got this Girlactic Matte Lip Paint in the color Demure. I got this in my BoxyCharm, so I want to use this. It's more of like a red. It kind of reminds me of Lolita from Kat Von D. Kat Von D might be a little bit browner. But that's why I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Knock on Wood in the center. So let's see how this looks. But I love this color. I'm going to let it dry down just a little. And then I'm going to put this on. Okay, so now that it's dried down, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Dose of Colors Knock on Wood. This is the final look. I really like the way that this look turned out and it was so simple and very easy and didn't use too many products. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below any other looks that you guys want me to do, whether it's dark, whether it's glitter, whether it's whatever you guys want to see. Just let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.